everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I am Lover Fragrance and on this channel I predominantly give you a description of fragrances that I love, fragrances that are my signature fragrances, fragrances that are in my collection. Uh, you might classify it as a review or I classify it as a recommendation but it's up to you and your perception of what's transpiring on my channel and in order for you to know that you have to tune in and you have to subscribe you have to like and you have to view my channel so without any further ado i'm going to get into this here video today and it's in reference to double a's yes double a's and my god what could that be about it's about mr jerry Mueller and his fragrance alien definitely and it's also about mr Mueller's fragrance angel Honey, I have you two, some of the most lovely scented designs by Mr. Terry Mugler that I'm not going to say he's ever invented, but they, they are a couple of the minty. Mr. Terry Mugler has a fragrance collection consisting of 119 fragrances in his fragrance collection. Yes, but Mr. F Terry Mugler does not designed his fragrances independently. He designed and collaborated with many other perfumers and fragrance designers to establish these here bottles of charm that I have right in front of you. So therefore, without any more explanation, I wanna get into the first A because I brought this one to you before and this one here is an absolute charm. This is one of the most elaborate sense that I have ever been exposed to. Let me just give you a description of how I was exposed to this one. I'm going to make it really, really quick. I was sitting in the house of the Lord. Yes. And there was this woman right in front of me on the other pew. Yes. And she happened to have pulled out the fragrance and she gave herself a couple of spritz. Toot! Toot! Right in front of me, honey. And when she did that, some of the fragrance got on me and I never heard of Mr. Terry Mugler ever before, but I happened to have seen a name and she had more of a miniature one. And when I saw her do that, I was like, that's so lovely. And honey, I obtained myself a sample and I utilized that sample daily until it was all gone. And before I invested in this fragrance, and I fell in love with it. And it's one of my, not because we're a signature yet, but it's one of my loves, definitely one of my loves. Anyways, this fragrance right here is a Terry Mugler Alien. Honey, this comes to you as gold. A golden charm from his collection. It's one of his radiant, mysterious scents. It's one of his solar sun ray scents. It has the modification of being one of the most energetic fragrances that within his collection. That's why they named it Alien because of the impact of the fragrance that penetrates from this container. It's beautiful. Nothing less than rich eloquence. I love it. And I'm sure you will also. Mm, the scent of this fragrance here comes to you with an opening notes of citric and orange mandarin and it also comes to you with a base note in this particular scent of jasmine and white flowers which makes the scent more appealing because it softens the tone of the scent from the citric it makes it a little bit sweet like a gourmet fragrance but it doesn't have that reputation as being one of the most elaborate gourmet scents that he ever designed and it also comes with base notes of amber some wood elements and green and vanilla which gives it a hint of sweetness but the vanilla is in the base notes which also gives it a distinction of more softness not an excessive amount of sweetness but a more soft delicate gourmand scent but it's appealing and it's an interesting scent it's an elaborate scent it's soothing because it has that magnifying solar energy compound attached toward it which i find it to be very lovely myself and i have 
it's it's sweet it's pretty sweet but not excessively sweet and it's appealing it's very appealing i find it very attractive very adorable it has that modification of warm intensity applied to this fragrance and i think you will really find this one absolutely fascinating and this happened to be one of my double a's right here alien and the next one i have for you angel Angel by Mr. Terry Muller also. This one comes to you. Look at look right here. Look at that top. You see it? There's a star on there. You know why? He named this fragrance Superstar. The name of his angel, but it's classified as a superstar fragrance, which I think is so, so cute. <laughs> it comes to you excessively rich. This is a rich fragrance. I find the scent of this one. Honey, I'm going to tell you, I had no idea who Mr. Muggler was before that lady. But honey, now that I know, he has some most beautiful fragrances. I taste, I tested his absolute one time. I like that one as well. But the ones that I have here um, are very appealing. Very appealing. Mm. This one here is much softer and much more delicate. But I want you to know that Mr. Mr. Muggler, he has a reputation as being... A perfectionist yes a perfectionist in other words he put nothing but perfection into all of his fragrances in other words his fragrances are tested 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 until he established the maximum perfection of that particular scent and honey that's exactly what you get with this one however I feel like it's appropriate for this one as well, but this here is a little bit more, like I said, mad mysterious. But this one right here has the most light, adorable, mm, a lovable fragrance, a lovable scent. It's absolutely beautiful. It has a twist of, I would say, kind of sourness to it because of the way the notes are applied in here. But this here's fragrance also happens to be a specimen of gourmand applications applied to this. This is test. This here is classified as one of his gourmand gourmand fragrances, and this here is classified as his first gourmand fragrance, the very first one that he would definitely classify as a gourmand scent. And extensive collection. That's hard. And very difficult for me to believe because he has a collection of 119 fragrances in his overall collection and this here is his first garment set but well, either way i'm just very very content to have this fragrance in my possession and i absolutely adore it this fragrance come to you classified as refreshing woody sensual with a great deal of sensuality applied to it and it also comes to you with the opening notes of fruity 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 elaborately fruit scents within this fragrance and the heart notes consist of like i said a great deal of sweetness and spiciness and however the vanilla plays a part into the sweetness but this fragrance has a notes of caramel and a mouthful of berries exuberating itself from this fragrance and it's excessively amount of um, candy scents applied to this fragrance where it's all intertwined together which gives it an elaborate garment scent and the base notes consist of a little bit of wood and patchouli and with all of those dirt notes intertwined together exuberating themselves you have to discover that it has a very 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 distinguishing aroma and it has the hint of garmin it's classified as its first garmin fragrance but the all the different types of garmin ingredients he's applied within this fragrance the way they are aligned it suppresses the fragrance from the garment scent to where it's sweet but not overly bearing sweet it's an unusual undetectable sweet but uh, both of these fragrances right this is exceptionally complimentary i find it to be exceptionally complimentary and the scent is exceptionally long lasting and it smells like a touch of cloud 
it's like you're sitting on a cloud like see how soft this color happens to be in here it gives you the impression that you're floating you're sitting on a cloud even though you're not you get that impression because it's so fruity it's so sweet it's gourmand and it has a little bit of oriental spices applied to it as well but either way it's just beautiful it has that elegant richness of elaborate notes that are distributed in such a manner where it focuses primarily on the sweetness of the fragrance, which are the gourmand scent, but then it has a base of sour, bitter type notes that softens the gourmand to the point where it's lovely. It's rich and lovely and very appealing, and I appreciate it. I'm very pleased with it. I love the fragrance. Tiny, I can elaborate on this forever and ever and ever because I am so impressed with both of these here fragrances right here. My double A's, I am nothing but, it's fair, they're both very impressional. I am nothing but content and satisfied and intrigued with these fragrances because both of them are exceptionally appealing. Mr. Moodle has some, definitely some angels sitting right here. His name is name Alien, but honey, I say they're both little angels because they give you that angelic aroma that you will find very appealing. And you know what? I love them, and I'm sure you will too. Highly recommended by Love of Fragrance. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.